Uh, Georgios Pipolidis is here from Ariadne Maps. Uh, he did his uh, graduate work in the crowdsourcing uh, generation of indoor maps at the uh, Technical University of Munich. And from that ended up founding this company, uh, which preserves anonymity while doing precise location with applications in uh, retail and things like that. So without further ado, I will turn it over to you and you should be a um, co-presenter, so you should be able to share your screen. Uh, Ariane is about customer uh, or, or visitor tracking uh, for business enterprises, uh, for physical businesses. Uh, it is precise and anonymous. Uh, with a few words, with one sentence, uh, what is Google Analytics for websites? Uh, Ariane is for physical uh, businesses like uh, retailers or airports or uh, train stations, any, any kind of building uh, you can imagine and want to quantify its uh, is, is uh, a success, let's say. Uh, this is our product, this is a surveyor, we, and we call it a surveyor because it's not another beacon, because it doesn't beam, it listens, everybody else beams, everybody who carries a smartphone, they beam uh, 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 signals from 500 megahertz to 5 gigahertz. Our product is uh, installed on the infrastructure, on the premise, uh, so it captures those signals and it can uh, precisely localize a resource. So this is how we can track 100% of the people. It doesn't require people to install any application. It doesn't require them to be connected on any network. It doesn't require to, to carry any proprietary hardware. It is more precise, one up to two orders, one even more precise than uh, data that uh, currently are obtained from LTE and cellular, uh, cellular uh, networks. It is, um, um, it, is uh, it provides much more information than camera-based uh, systems. And the most important is that it can uh, combine navigation, tracking, and equipment monitoring on, in one solution. Um, we already have, uh, are active with uh, projects, especially here in Europe, uh, with uh, railway companies, airports, uh, uh, shopping, uh, shopping centers and supermarkets. And this is where my presentation is closed. So behind the curtain, uh, this is kind of the architecture of our system uh, or a very high level of the architecture of the system. Uh, I, I tried to put also a couple of papers that we have published. If you want to find more, more information, you can, uh, uh, you can uh, uh, go, go there. Uh, so the, in the architecture, it is extended between a cloud component and a client component, which is the client component is um, normally on the on, on the user or, and what the user see. Because as I mentioned all, all already, we can also provide navigation. Uh, we can also provide monitoring of equipment. So there is uh, not always, but uh, often a cloud component, a uh, client component, uh, necessary. Uh, and presenting the subcomponents of the client component, it has a context extraction, which uh, a, a component which is uh, you can imagine it in a smartphone, for example, uh, the, uh, the client component, and you have uh, two sensors, accelerometer and barometer, and there you have uh, disturbances on accelerometer and disturbances on barometer, or no disturbances uh, on accelerometer and no disturbance of barometer. So we can pre present this as a, as a Venn diagram and on the cross sections of the different, uh, uh, the different uh, readings, sensor readings, we can do some analytics uh, like activity recognition, which we can, share, we, can, we can use later to get a better estimation on the, on the location. Imagine, for example, elevators. Uh, then we have a map and a map uh, besides geometry, topology, uh, it can also describe semantics. This is an example of a subway, uh, 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 of a train, of a subway uh, station map, where we have platforms, we have corridors, we have escalator, uh, stairs, escalators, and elevators. Uh, then the next component, and it and it, it is XML based. Actually, we use OpenStreetMaps, but there is also Geo, Geo, GeoJSON. Uh, format uh, because it's quite standardized actually and it's widely uh, used and open sourced and uh, re people, people really have contributed. Uh, on the, so then there is an initial direction 
component, which is actually uh, uh, what what it does is you can imagine a human and he, they have infinite directions pra practically to walk. But when geometry comes into place, then the um, the walking direction can be very much limited. And uh, based on this uh, possible walking directions, we come with the initial direction. Uh, there is a there is a uh, update direction component in our system, which what it does actually is to identify the, the phone pose. So the phone can be uh, moved however, but the gravity vector is always static. And then we have a step detection, which is again, the accelerometer uh, forms patterns. And when your heel uh, strikes the ground, there is a clear pattern that we can use to identify steps. Uh, and by combining all of these components, we uh, we combine all of these components in a in a particle filter, uh, which is actually simulates uh, uh, many different potential uh, locations, uh, and uh, did that, and and it uses uh, at every iteration your most likely location. Um, and finally, we visualize this to the user in the, on, 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 on a browser with also voice uh, Now, on, this, on the cloud component, now with all of this data, you can imagine that interesting things start happening. So by aggregating already the raw data, you see patterns uh, emerging. Uh, and of course, the first thing that someone may think is to come up with a geometry, and this is what we did actually. We came up with a geometry of the building. Everything that you see here, it is, uh, it is extracted from data. And uh, so no human draw a line for this model, and this model actually also follows ISO standards. Uh, the second thing that we tried with all of the data that we collected was to uh, train Wi-Fi-based localization. And actually, this is a very, a very basic component that we use in Ariadne today. Um, so, um, and a couple of lessons learned is, uh, first of all, uh, the particle filter was not always on the, cli on the client. Uh, Executed was on the server. And actually, this is how most of the people have it. Google, Google, Google has uh, an approach of a particle filter which is executed on the cloud. And uh, Google probably can afford it. We obviously cannot. This is just uh, uh, this is just uh, the amount we pay per month. Uh, we use pay per month uh, for the particle filter being executed on the cloud. You, you should imagine that every user is simulated for up to four uh, four hundred up to four thousand um, uh, times for every step. So it was very expensive. So uh, we we move the the component to the to the to the client. And uh, we eliminate the 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 uh, the, um, the budget the the con consume budget there, and uh, the 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 fingerprint component, which was now ex is executed on the cloud, it used to be executed on the on the client, which was uh, which we found that it doesn't make sense because individual models really take too long, so it's 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 a, uh, this component helps on loop closures, um, so individual co individual models don't give so much value as if we aggregate all the co all the models into one uh, 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 super model. Let's say uh, let's call it that uh, an aggregated uh, model. Uh, so we uh, uh, took this component into the into the um, uh, cloud. So I, I promise that I will keep my presentation to six minutes. I hope I make it. Uh, if you have any question, I'm happy to answer. I'm sorry if it was too fast. <laughs> I just wanted to present a lot. So thank you. Wow, that's incredible. And um, I, I love this, the core of your story too, of how you, um, you know, you looked at the part that was in the cloud and the cost and benefit of having it there and you moved it to the edge device in the phone. And, uh, it's, I'm very glad that you are into anonymity and preserving privacy because that is some um, pretty interesting things you're able to figure out. 